What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Low Luxury and another episode of Fake Fashion Detective. Yeah, Fake Fashion Detective. And today we're going to be looking at a brand that we haven't looked at before on this series. And dare I say, it may be a little bit of a, a speed run because I find this brand to be relatively easy to legit check, but I may have just jinxed myself. This may be the most difficult episode we have had. So today we are going to be taking a look at pieces from Comme des Garçons Play. Obviously one of the most kind of hype brands of the past 10, 5, 10 years. Kind of waning a bit now, but still super popular. Resale platforms are overrun with their stuff. And it's also fairly cheap compared to like, you know, luxury brands or something. So the fakes are just everywhere. Everywhere. So this is going to be a fun one. I think what we should do first actually is just brush up for you guys on how to tell real versus fake CDG play. But first, I've looked into it and a very, very small percentage of you are actually subscribed to the channel. It's completely free. You just press that button and you will not regret it. Thank you so much. So we've got legitcheck.app. Let's see what their guides got. Obviously, CDG Play, this is the brand with the like heart eyes logo, super, super recognizable, in-depth guide. I love it. So, big one, you want to look at the, the heart itself, the stitching in it. Do you see how this has a bit of like graininess, whereas this one's smoother? Also, the stitching of around the heart itself that stitches it down, usually the stitching is going to be cleaner on the real one. Of course, the shape's got to be right. Most of the time their shapes are consistent. Sometimes they do like double hearts and stuff where one heart will be different from the other, but do you see how like misshapen this one is? So you gotta pay attention to that stuff. The eyes are always important. Sometimes the fakes do get these pretty well. Like these are pretty close, but you see they're a little bit more oval. They're kind of curved inwards a little bit like that. So always stuff to look at. Most resale sites, they're not gonna show you a picture of the inside of the heart, but if you were to ask or if they gave you the pictures just by chance, the inside stitching on a real one is going to be way cleaner than a fake one. And that site has nothing about tags, which is super dumb. Okay, let's let's try this again. All right, the real real. I haven't seen this guide before, I don't think. Inside stitching, tag, here we go. So the tag, it's a very, very easy tag to fake. So it can be tough to tell, but things like the stitching on the real ones, do you see how close to the edges this is? It's just a single line very close to the edges. It's like a canvas tag with black print. The shape of that, the boldness of that, the size tag can be a good thing to look at as well. And then you've got the care tags as well. You're gonna have a model number in here, which is generally very easy to look up. Then we also get into the converse. Interesting, I actually haven't seen a guide on these before, but these can also be fairly tough to tell but most of the big things are gonna come from this tag right here. And with that out of the way, let's get started. First one, iconic heart eyes t-shirt, $65, open to offers, size large. Do we have anything? This is excellent condition and we have very few pictures. So this may be a tough one to start off with. We don't get the care tags at all, which is really, really annoying. Um, so all we really get is this guy right here. But I already do not like this. So do you see how like it's not far enough over? There's a bit of a curve to the stitch and it's kind of like pinching the tag on both sides. Um, I haven't seen real ones that do that. Maybe it could have shrunk in the wash. But without a model number to go off of, uh, let's look at this placement here. Let's look this guy up. All right, beautiful. Here we go. 83 on Farfetch. See, like, so even if this was real for a used one, it doesn't seem like a very good deal. But let's see what we got. Okay, so here's the thing. On the real ones, the bottom of the heart is a bit cut and rough, and he seems to be on a bit of an angle like that and the size i guess it's hard to tell between sizes because i'm not sure what, what size is this guy wearing model's wearing a size large okay perfect so that should be the size in the placement and what do we got 
he's literally facing, I'd say this guy's slanted in the slight opposite direction. So between that and the tag, I think this thing is fake. All right, another iconic piece from CDG Play. It is the striped, like, chest, heart, long sleeve shirt. Okay, what do we got here? Women's medium. Okay, women's sizing, good to know. Pit to pit and length, yada yada. Nothing. Um, positive feedback, a lot of sales from this person. There's the back. Okay. Do you see this stitch up here at the top of the neck? Like the top left of that neckline, it's got like this stitch going this way. I'm not sure if that's the way it should be or not. I'd like to look into that. We do have care tags. Beautiful, made in Japan, yada, yada, yada. The print looks a little fuzzy to me. Hmm. The tag's coming apart a bit. The stitching on the sides, a little bit, it just looks loose to me. All the stitching looks loose. Again, if it's very used, I guess that could happen. But also, do you see how thin the stitching is inside the neckline? How like wide those V's are? That doesn't seem right to me either. Um, but first, let's look up this model number. So, AZT163. All right, what do we got here? Let's go to images. It is all this shirt right here. But let's see some of these pictures. Uh, here's the black one. Where is this? Hervia. Visit. Show me. Show me. You, get, you gotta let me. Come on now. Bruh. Won't even let me zoom in. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. You know what? It is very wide. And there's that stitch right there, I think. Unless that's the um, Photoshop. Chill out. Jeez. Unless... Yeah, I'm not seeing that side stitch here. That's a little weird. Interesting. So since that's all we have to go off of, um, so that stitch right there seems really weird and messy to me. Also that neckline just looks messy. Like it doesn't even look cut right. And how bad the stitching is, is how loose all of these stitches are. I'm saying this is fake. Next up, we got a hoodie. Blue Heart logo hoodie. I like the cut of that. Those big, bold pocket openings. Nice, like, contrasting white drawstrings. Interesting. $120. Fair price for a used real one, I would say. No extra information there. Some sales, some feedback. Okay. There's our heart. It looks a bit stretched, but it may be the angle. Also, the ends of this drawstring just being completely fringed seems a little bit weird, but we'll have to look into that. Okay, metal uh, rivets here for that. Okay, stitching looks really solid on the neck tag, I will say that. Like, do you see very close to the edges, very clean. So that's good. I don't know how much we're gonna learn from the back, but that's okay and both sides of the care tag beautiful t173 this is from 2017 okay let's check it out moment of truth moment of truth hoodies but oh i guess that is the right one but ah oh, here we go same site hervia it worked out well for us last time so what do we got here so the cut looks quite different here than the one we were looking at. Price 231. There are pockets. Oh, do you see this? Big, long, curving pockets here. The hood seems much bigger. These are supposed to be tied off. And there are pockets. So I think the biggest giveaway here is that curve, right? I think. Let's see. I want to see if there are maybe other older models that didn't have that. So I want to see it on a few more sites, I think. And clothing. Farfetch. 
Let's look at those. Okie dokie. Play hoodie. So this one does not have the curves at all. AZT174, but this is a different model number. So when we were looking at, see, I don't think we can compare to this one. This guy's a zip up. That doesn't help at all. But what's the model number on this? Does it have anything? I don't think it does. No model number, but that's okay. Here we are on end. And now the big question is this also T174. Um, P1 T1, oh, 174. Okay, I think we're getting some really good info here, actually. So as far as I can tell, T173 is supposed to have these curving lines that go out from these pockets. Whereas, do you see this? It actually is a line that goes all the way over. And that just does not seem right for this model number. And there's some other stuff that just makes it, the, the proportions don't look like these other pieces that we were looking at. So I'm going to say, this is fake. Wow. This has been one of the most fake-filled episodes we've ever had here. And finally, of course, we had to do it the CDG Play Converse. $83. The low tops, I would say, are the less desirable ones, the less expensive ones. Um, 83 though, is, well, they're fairly used. That's a fair price, I'm going to say. Usually, I'd expect to see them more in the 100 to 130 range. Uh, they usually go for really close to retail, even used, but these are, like, very used. So, I think that's about right. Size 9, they look tiny. Are they women size nine, or are these, does this guy have massive hands? Uh, is this men's or women's? Because that alone might do it. Only worn about ten times. Where does it say if it's a men or women? Men. Men size nine? Real, I don't buy that. Especially, like, these fit big, in my experience. Okay, we got the rivets, yada yada yada, stitching going around, soles, man, Photoshop's pissed at me, ooh, look at the bleed on that, it looks like they just spray painted it, that looks terrible, that doesn't, none, that print does not seem right to me, that's looking a bit weird. Okay, this sticker also looks weirdly like printed and it's not like on the box all the way. Men's nine, UK nine. I feel like Converse does match those, so that checks out. Ugh. You're not gonna show me this sticker. Oh, you dirty dog. You dirty dog messy stitching going around the outside of this as well it's all coming off ah the sizing doesn't seem right the bleed on this print even with wear does not seem right like that's just weird honestly that doesn't make sense to me um i think these are fake and that's the end of the episode so apparently eBay desperately needs to step up its game when it's moderating these listings from Comme des Garçons Play. Or I'm way too picky. Um, but I think I'm right on all those. And that's what I was saying. This brand, the ratio of fakes to real pieces is just like absolutely out of control. So be like very careful when you're buying Comme des Garçons Play stuff at resale. And honestly, you might be better off just trying to find it from legit retail like farfetch or whatever just on sale than at resale because a lot of people they're trying to charge pretty much retail for used pieces so this may be a brain where you're just better off sticking to retail you know what i mean but hopefully you enjoyed this uh take a look at the other video on screen here subscribe to my channel like this video and i'll see you next time